So now I've done the first bit, I'm going to quickly talk through nested symbols. Um, it can help sort of tidy up your um, symbols in the insert drop down, which is actually quite useful, especially when you're grouping elements like links and footers, etc. Um, so if you go to your symbols page, and we've got the secondary CT and the primary CT here. What you want to do is actually change the name of the artboard. So we're going to add buttons forward slash and then up here we're going to add the same. So buttons forward slash. I'm just going to quickly create another symbol and we'll just create this um, test. And we'll create a symbol from the artboard. Yep, perfect. And now if we go to our main page here and we go to insert document, it actually groups the buttons together. So if you've got um, five or six buttons, um, you can just group them under there rather than them all being listed in here. Um, so you've obviously got the uh, different elements that can do lists or like footers, headers, like anything you want to group together you can, which is uh, really nice to have. And the other bit to nested symbols is actually like editing the um, symbols themselves with overrides from nested symbols. Um, I know it sounds a bit complex, but hopefully I can uh, try and explain it. So we'll call this colors forward slash primary. And we're going to create rounded rectangle, same size as this, although it doesn't matter because we can stretch it anyway. Um, we're just going to create okay, like a pink layer and we'll duplicate that. And we'll quickly create a create symbol from that. Yep. And we'll create a symbol from this. Okay, and we'll call this one um, secondary. Okay, so we've got primary colour and secondary colour. We'll quick change this so you can see the difference there. And now if you add this into this button, it allows you to override it. So if I go here, colours, okay, primary. We'll drop that on there and we'll drop that just into this folder here and we'll stretch that the size of that button okay so now if you go back to our page one and we insert our button secondary it's got that override in it and if you go to the right hand panel you can actually edit it so here we've got the primary and we can change it to the secondary color which is really nice to have. Um, it allows you to like sort of edit um, symbols on your page without having to detach it, which is really, really useful. Um, it depends how much detail you actually want to go into the nested symbols because you can have an abundance of colors um, and even icons that you can change. But sometimes I don't think they're as effective as they could be, um, but it's still a really, really useful tool to know about.